boys and girls, we're ready for another chapter of Buckeye Wars. Uh, the village that we lived in, in El Dorado Hills, had uh, a little park with two ponds, uh, little duck ponds. Uh, there was an upper level and then a lower level, and they... Uh, had a little walkway between the two ponds, and the top pond had a, uh, uh, like a fountain, a big old pipe sticking up in the middle of it, uh, that, uh, I don't think I ever saw it activated and doing its fountain-ness. <laughs> it was just a big old pipe out in the middle, but we knew that that was where it was probably the deepest. But these these ponds were tiny. You could probably skip a rock all the way across it. And uh, But for us, this was a place to fish. And uh, it, was, it was within walking distance. It was a long walk, so most of the time we would ride our bikes. But uh, <laughs> I remember... Digging worms in my backyard, my side yard, uh, backyard uh, slash side yard uh, had a lot of leaves. And under those leaves, we could dig up some some little red worms and put in a put in a cup. And uh, we would take it uh, in our fishing poles and we'd go down to the pond. We called it the ponds. Let's go to the ponds. And uh, we would fish. And... Uh, I remember one time we were catching these little itty bitty catfish. They they were about the size of your middle finger, and <laughs> it's funny because because Bill Bill would get a bite, and he would pull real hard, and I'd be doggone if that if this little catfish would would be attached to to his line, and he'd fling it kind of over his head. And it would go from one pond into the other pond, kind of over his head, bloop, <laughs> little bitty catfish. And uh, as we got older, we would fish Folsom Lake, and we'd catch bluegill and little bass and some catfish and so forth. We'd put it in a bucket, a live well, if you will, and uh, we'd bring it home and we'd uh, go down to the ponds and we'd, we, we would dump it into the ponds. So in essence, we were stocking the ponds and, um, it, <laughs> over time we, we caught some bigger fish. I remember catching a, uh, about a three pound bass out of that upper pond, by golly, scared me half to death. I didn't know that there was anything that big in there, but I was popping some lures along the shoreline, and wham, caught me a three-pound bass. So Moby Dick did exist. <laughs>